Shocking new revelation following the mysterious UAP caught on high-speed camera in the Skinwalker Ranch. Many shocking discoveries have been made in the Skinwalker Ranch, but this has to be at the top of the list. Burdett Anderson, an employee of a company called Photron Cameras, joined the team at the Triangle in the beginning of the experiment, and everyone was thrilled to have him. His area of expertise is high-speed camera systems, which can take hundreds of frames per second of footage. The typical human can see between 24 and 30 frames per second. With the right preparation, a high-speed camera can give you a detailed look at any fast-moving things you have so far failed to capture. Having a high-speed camera allows us to do this, among other things. Mysterious UAP was caught on high-speed camera, and this camera can capture up to a million frames per second. And it was this camera that first noticed something was off when the rocket went off. They plan to launch rockets into the sky via the triangle, where we have seen numerous UAPs and discovered an anomaly that we believe to be between 300 and 5,000 feet in altitude. While Burdett was taking pictures of each launch with color and infrared cameras at a rate of 1,000 per second, they expected to get a far better look at anything that might appear in the sky during tonight's rocket launches because, to the cameras on Burdett, not long after they had released it, they started to see something. It changed course before it could reach the anomaly's position. They had expected it to hit right where they were standing, so they weren't surprised when it did. The team saw almost instantly that the first rocket they fired deviated ever so slightly off course, as if it had collided with something invisible that had diverted it. Many other rockets and GPS devices have experienced the same thing at the Triangle, so I was eager to launch another rocket as soon as possible to see what would happen next. The rocket was shot so high that it may have landed in the east field. The people suddenly noticed a bright light racing toward them from the sky. Fast moving and hovering somewhere near treetop level was an orange light on the southwest bank of the river. There was no way that it was an airplane. It appeared to be heading north after some time had elapsed. The most spectacular UAP ever seen appeared over Skinwalker Ranch shortly after they launched their second rocket at the Triangle area. Something was moving straight above them, and they became aware of it at that very second. It appeared to be headed in a direction that was roughly northeast. It was orange and didn't look anything like a satellite. It then started to move over the house from the east to the northeast. Even though they were all somewhat shocked to see an airplane flying in this fashion for the very first time, Thomas made the proper choice when he decided to have a member of the crew inspect his autonomous dependent surveillance transmission tracker. The system is responsible for monitoring the transmissions that aircraft such as planes and jets, are required to make in order to comply with laws and regulations. At first glance, it appeared to be traveling in a direction that was directly north, but then, all of a sudden, it turned to the left and picked up speed. If this thing were a satellite, you should anticipate that the power of the signal will decrease over the course of time. At that time, it would no longer have the same impact it once did. This evidence provides further support for the contention that it is not a satellite. It vanished in the split second it took to count to one. The brilliance of the thing did not change at any point up until the very second that it disappeared. However, it became immediately apparent that there was an issue. The fire that had begun everything had completely extinguished what was left. The motor failed as a result of getting too hot to continue working properly. In your perspective, what factors could have contributed to that? The issue was located in the automobile's engine. The explosion took place on the interior of the rocket as it was climbing higher and higher into the sky. They have witnessed this happening with a wide variety of motor prototypes, but never with a motor that is available to the general public. When they finally became aware that there was a problem, they were already moving at a rapid pace. They occurred to look at the camera at that very moment, and neither of them noticed anything out of the norm. Nobody in that group had any prior experience with the subject matter at hand. Above the clouds and quite a ways off in the distance, a figure could be picked out in all its detail. There was undeniably more going on than met the eye. At that point, they had the realization that it was possible that they were witnessing a phenomenon for the very first time in the history of humanity. After being struck by the rocket, the peculiar item exploded in an instant. They repeatedly viewed it to ensure that they were not experiencing some kind of hallucination. The structure was destroyed in the fire, following the missile's collision with the target. 
The crew investigated Skinwalker Ranch in its entirety over a period of four years until they finally obtained credible video footage of an extraordinary occurrence at the Triangle. Just prior to when they were going to launch the rocket, the high-speed camera that was being used by Burdett Anderson caught a strange image that resembled a blob. Because of this weakness in the design, the rocket went off without warning, destroying everything in its path in the process. There was something there, but none of them were able to determine what it was without the assistance of some kind of optical aid. The cloud suffered no damage as a result of this incident. Since it did not move at all during the course of the experiment, it is reasonable to believe that this kind of thing happens frequently there. They have been looking for the origin of the intermittent energy spikes that they have been monitoring, and this could be the answer they have been looking for. In what ways, if any, does it resemble the UAPs that they have encountered in the past? The possibility of coming closer to some answers is one of the few bright spots. This is actually one of the few positive aspects. All the missiles that have fallen in roughly the same area and then diverted off in the opposite way adds up to more proof that something is up there. As soon as the third rocket was launched and its flames began to spread, they noticed something that hadn't been there before. They had never seen anything like it before. Something was missing from the second shot of the rocket that was taken, but it appeared in the third. When the high-speed camera is recording, Thomas can typically describe all he sees. They were unable to give a satisfactory definition. They had never before seen anything even somewhat like this come out of a Photron camera. Prior to this, they had no idea what had happened but now they have a possible area to focus their research. They imagine that the thing they have gained is both unique and priceless. For them, it merely provides more proof for their argument. Due to its proximity to the Uinta and Ure Indian Reservation in the county's western corner, this property has earned the nickname UFO Ranch among locals and visitors alike for the strange events that have allegedly occurred there over the past half century. There is speculation that UFOs were involved in these sightings. Kelleher and Knapp claim to have personally witnessed or researched evidence of nearly a hundred events. Cattle disappearing and being found maimed is only one example. Others include sightings of orbs or other strange flying objects, encounters with enormous creatures that remained unhurt despite being shot at, and the emission of harmful magnetic fields from unseen things. Don't miss out on any of the latest and greatest updates by not subscribing. They claim to have seen or studied evidence of nearly a hundred events which Kelleher and Knapp dispute. This category includes reports of UFO sightings, also referred to as orbs. A retired U.S. Army colonel by the name of John B. Alexander was involved in the project. He characterized the NIDSI effort as one that uses the standard scientific approach to gather information. But the researchers said they had a hard time gathering data that lined up with what had been published in scientific journals. Over the course of several decades, tales of livestock being maimed for reasons that remain a mystery have become embedded in local tradition. Robert Bigelow, founder of the National Institute for Discovery Science, paid $200,000 in 1996 to buy the ranch after reportedly being persuaded by the family of previous ranch owner Terry Sherman to believe their allegations of mutilations. Reports state that Bigelow believed the family's explanation of the mutilations because he believed the things the family told him. Strange lights and inexplicable footprints in the dirt and grass were common themes in many stories. The rumors of mutilations at the ranch are rumored to have convinced Bigelow to purchase the land. Startling finding has scientists scratching their heads. If you want to know what it is, watch the following video.